Time now for the morning rush. President Biden is now requiring all federal employees to get vaccinated against COVID-19 or face strict protocols. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham following suit, signing an executive order requiring state workers to get their shots. If they refuse, they'll have to wear a face mask inside at all times and get a COVID test every other week. State police are planning to conduct another crime fighting surge in the metro. The state did this back in 2019, shortly after the deadly shooting of a UNM baseball player outside of a Knob Hill bar. The surge brought 50 state police officers from across the state to help APD crack down on crime hotspots within Albuquerque. UNM is jumping on board the mask mandates. Everyone on the UNM campus will be required to wear a mask indoors soon. New Mexico State says its campuses will only require unvaccinated people to wear masks in all indoor settings. However, everyone will be required to wear them wherever it is not possible to maintain a distance of six feet. Eric. All right, let's talk about your next weather maker here as we head into our weekend, the last weekend of July, first one of August. Some drier air across the east, but that's not going to last as a Another cold front makes its way through the region, bringing widespread rain, even some flash flooding through Saturday and Sunday. Starting on Monday, any New Mexican who gets a vaccination shot will get $100. New Mexico is bringing back the $100 vaccine incentive after President Biden praised the state yesterday for the program's success. A third of unvaccinated Americans say that cash would make them more likely to get their COVID-19 shots. Two new secretaries are in the governor's cabinet this morning. Former Los Alamos Superintendent Kurt Steinhouse will take over the Education Department. Rio Rancho Deputy Police Chief Jason Bowie will lead the Department of Public Safety. The Biden administration will allow a nationwide moratorium on evictions to expire come tomorrow. Here in the state, the state Supreme Court issued a temporary moratorium on orders forcibly removing tenants who can provide proof they are not able to pay. The order does not protect tenants being evicted for other reasons. The IRS is expanding tax credits for employers who offer their employees pay time off to get their COVID-19 vaccines. The IRS and Treasury Department have said if certain employers could qualify for the credit for providing time off for each employee receiving the vaccine and for any time needed to recover. Eric. Take advantage of a flawless Friday here this afternoon. Really not much of a threat index for today. Mostly sunny skies, a little bit breezy by the afternoon, but this weekend looking much different. Families are now at risk of not receiving monthly payments of the expanded child tax credit this year. Those who have not filed a recent tax return may miss out on this benefit. Families can get up to $300 a month per child under the age of 6 and $250 for older children under the age of 19. This morning, a scam warning from the Water Authority. Bernalillo County residents have reported someone claiming to be with the Water Authority, trying to access their homes by saying they have to test for water contamination. The agency says they are not conducting any such test, and you should not allow these people inside of your home. Eric. All right, looking all clear on the roadways for the moment here as we get started on our Friday morning. Flawless start to the day. Lots of sunshine and calm conditions. A balloon that's made an appearance during the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta just helped kick off the grand reopening of a popular exhibit. The gigantic hot air balloon made in the likeness of Vincent van Gogh was inflated in Toronto as part of a promotion for the reopening of the immersive van Gogh exhibit. All right, let's go back to 1934 here. We can see the hottest time, hottest temperature ever recorded over in Clayton, 105 degrees there. Wow. Pretty balmy. All right, time for the five facts. Uh, oh. Number five, a balloon that's made an appearance at Balloon Fiesta Park just helped kick off the grand reopening of a popular exhibit. The gigantic hot air balloon made in the likeness of Vincent van Gogh was inflated in Toronto, Canada yesterday as part of a promotion for the reopening of the immersive Van Gogh exhibit. And before now, state police are planning to conduct another crime-fighting surge in the metro. The state did this back in 2019, shortly after the deadly shooting of a UNM baseball player. The surge brought 50 state police officers from across the state to help APD crack down on crime hotspots within the metro. And number three, a beautiful looking Friday for us and pretty toasty as well. But then as we head through the weekend, we're also going to be seeing a lot of storms.
Number two, now seven years after a woman was found murdered in her own home, her loved ones are still desperately searching for answers. APD now says they've developed a possible lead. However, it's likely several more months before they can produce a possible suspect on this. F friends of 53 year old Danette Webb say they miss her greatly. Webb was found dead in her Southwest Albuquerque home back in 2014 after a coworker went to check on her when she did not show up for work. Finally, number one for you this morning, President Biden announcing yesterday that federal employees will be required to get vaccination shots against COVID-19 or face strict protocols. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham following suit, signing an executive order requiring all 17,000 state workers to get their shots or to get tested. The governor estimates about 70% of employees working in state facilities have been vaccinated so far. The new executive order says if a state employee does refuse to get the vaccine, they will have to wear a face mask inside at all times except when they're eating and get a COVID test at least once every two weeks. Employees who do not comply could be disciplined and even fired.